We're going to add an annotation to a scan. In order to add an annotation, first open a scan in either 3D view, planar view, or quick view. You can select a scan by right clicking and choosing view, quick view, planar, or 3D. I'm going to choose quick view. When I open this scan in quick view, I'll now go to the top menu bar, fourth from the left, and click on Annotation. I'll bring the mouse out on the screen and place the cursor on top of the evidence marker number three. When I click on the Documentation prop Object Properties, I'll click the General tab and I will name this EV3 for Evidence Marker 3. I'll click Apply. And now I'll go back to Documentation Properties. I'll click on the Browse button and I'll locate the photographs on my drive. Once I locate the photographs, I'll then locate the photo that shows evidence marker number three. I'll then click Open. I'll click Add and then OK. On the left, you'll see Evidence Marker 3. When I right-click on EV3 and choose Properties, I'll then select the blue highlighted item here under Hyperlinks and click Open. This is going to allow me to confirm that I indeed have the photograph that I wanted to, uh, to attach. We'll run you through this once more. I have uh, evidence marker 2 near a firearm on the floor. So I'll click on Annotation on the top of evidence marker 2. I'll click General, type in EV2, click Apply. Now I'll click on Documentation Properties. I'll click the Browse button, and I'll locate Evidence Marker 2. I'll then click Open, Add, and OK. Now, if you don't want to work in Quick View, if you would rather work in 3D, you certainly can do that by right-clicking and choosing View 3D. And you can work inside your 3D area. Now I'm going to make sure I turn the text on for viewing so I can see my evidence markers. And the way I did that was to right click and go to visibility settings, choose layer, and I just select text. When you turn it off or uncheck it, it will hide your annotations. And that's all there is to it for annotations. Now these will become a permanent part of your scene file. You can also create a scene to go or a web share, and these will be included in that. Good luck with your annotations. Please don't hesitate to email or ask any questions. Thank you very much for watching.